Well, here's some new political terminology for you. Hashtag ELXN41. If that means anything to you, then you are among the growing number of Canadians who are learning about and are debating this federal campaign online. Now more than ever, Twitter and Facebook and YouTube are tools that no politician can ignore. And the ability to get to know your candidates via social media and to make fun of them appears to be engaging the most elusive voter demographic of all, young people. Our Andrew Johnson logs on with that story. That's been a hashtag fail on, uh, on this issue. Many voters were likely stumped by that statement from NDP leader Jack Layton during Tuesday's English language debate. He was speaking to 5 million Canadian Twitter users who were tweeting non-stop during the debate and who can no longer be ignored. There was a writer for the Globe and Mail that coined this being the first social media election for Canada, and I think that's right on target. And the easiest target for the keyboard crowd, just like the opposition, appears to be Prime Minister Stephen Harper. The website harperdid.ca featuring sensational alleged wrongdoing by Harper, spelled out under catchy headlines, crashed after Twitter and Facebook got a hold of it, and it reportedly received more than one million hits. Or how about It's Over, Steve, the YouTube video where Canadian women give Harper the talk. It's been quite a while since you have listened to me. Things between us haven't been working for a long time. UVic poli sci instructor and social media guru Janai Aragon, who of course tweeted about our interview during it, says social media brings politics to the everyman and woman. I mean, anyone, me, you, your neighbor, your mother, can comment on Twitter or Facebook about the election. Victoria NDP incumbent Denise Savoie tweeted throughout the leaders' debate and says young people appear to be responding. If it creates more awareness around what's happening, you know, it's all worth it. Camosun College students agree politics seem less intimidating and less square online. It's not uh, the hip thing to do, but I think Facebook and social media is helping with that, actually. VIU student Peter Hofkin tells me on Twitter he's been following the campaign closely online, but it is actually turning him off voting. He calls Elizabeth May's exclusion from the leaders' debate undemocratic and says the leaders aren't listening to young people. He also wonders where what he calls iconic names are on the ballot in the vein of Barack Obama or Pierre Trudeau. We'll give the vote mob of UVic students viewed close to 10,000 times on YouTube the final word because at the end of the day and this campaign, the more people voting for anybody is a victory for everybody. Andrew Johnson, A News.